We're getting close, and that's exciting. I think it's exciting for everybody. I think um, you know our energy level as a team, and uh, getting getting uh, to game day is always something that uh, uh, you look forward to. So uh, the first test, you know, and I talked about that the other day. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, I think we've had good practices. Um, you know, as a coach, you get a little paranoid, um, a little bit about uh, how how uh, how your team's always going to play. I think that's just natural. It happens every week, but making sure we're dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and getting ready to uh, go play football. It's a lot more uncertainty, though, in the first game, I assume. Uh, you haven't done anything to work off. Uh, right, right. And, and you're right, Mark. I think there's always that uncertainty out there, um, especially the first year. You know, you're still, they're getting to know you a little bit in a game setting situation. And, you know, we're all different. You know, we all have our uh, uh, quirks, I guess is the best word as any, that we, we bring along with us, you know, and uh, different ways that you like to eat pregame meal, different ways that you handle Friday night. Um, so it, it's all part of it and it all goes with it. And it's just a continued education and learning process. Might there be a moment? during pregame when you're out there, take a look around and... Well, I mean, you always you always look around in that stadium. I mean, that's a beautiful stadium. And, um, you know, Patrick, I assume there will be. But, you know, game day's fun. And, uh, uh, you know, when I say that, you know, I think sometimes uh, um, people, you know, maybe think it's... Not serious, but it's a fun seriousness to what you're doing, and you want to have fun out there, and you want to see a team play together and play with great, uh, um, um, you know, uh, spirit for each other. Given all this, the emotion of the day, is the celebration penalty thing? Have you guys addressed that quite a bit? Yeah, we have. You know, in fact, we had one in one of the scrimmages that we had out here that you know was close, could have been called, and so it was a good educating. Uh, you know, it's good to see it on tape and talk to the guys about it. We've had uh, the Big Ten officials in. We've had a lot of Big Ten officials at every, uh, every practice, you know. So, um, you know, you, you hope um, they understand there's consequences, you know, team consequences for it. And then, obviously, there will be some personal consequences. Do you look at that 5 o'clock Friday practice as kind of an extension of game day and just – kind of a carryover of the mindset that you won on Saturday? Yeah, pretty much. I, I would say that's probably right. I, you know, I, I don't believe in walkthroughs. Uh, uh, I think there's a way you prepare. I think it's important to sweat on Fridays a little bit. You know, some people uh, don't practice on Fridays. Uh, but since I've been a head coach, we always have. And I think it's good for your guys. And it kind of, uh, you know, if anything else, it drives down the mental uh, part where we want to be. It's a common way to evaluate players is to look at their stats and all. Yeah. Denards were off the chart last year. With what you want to do with him in the offense, is it unrealistic that he could come close to matching what he did last year? And how will you judge him and evaluate him? Uh, wins. You know, that's the first and foremost. Uh, uh, I think us taking care of the ball and making good decisions. Um, you know, from a quarterback perspective to managing the offense to the uh, perspective of, uh, uh, um, you, you know, how the, the flow and the tempo and everything else, you know. I, you know, I, I'm not smart enough to, to uh, talk about what kind of numbers I would think he would have. You know, as long as uh, um, the numbers on the left side of uh, the scorecard are high, then he would, have a, he would have had a good year. He had kind of an interesting debut against Western in 09. Have you watched the tape from that play or that game? Nope. You've never seen that play? Nope. Anything else? Health-wise, same as... Yeah, we're pretty good. I mean... Um, Anyone going to be... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right now, we're, we're uh, um, as healthy as I think we can be. You know, guys got bumps and bruises, but, you know, this is football and not golf. And so... Uh, you know, they're, they're beat up a little bit, but there's 121 uh, uh, Division One schools and everybody's beat up, and, and you better be, or, or else you haven't done much, you know.
You talked about tapering off a little bit. I mean, do you still like the intensity that you've seen this week? Yeah, I thought yesterday was uh, um, it was pretty physical, and uh, that's a good work day. We're supposed to have a good physical work day on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. <coughs> it's a little different this week since we've been in camp this whole stretch. So we'll, we'll cut it back a little bit today, and then uh, obviously Thursday will be cut back a little more. Um, just so that uh, uh, their legs, we always, you know, and I think part of that is all mental anyway. Um, I know when my legs hurt, I, I don't feel, but it's probably mental on my part. So uh, we'll make sure that the, their legs are coming back and all those things and that, um, you know, we do a lot of ice tubs after every practice. They do a lot of uh, stuff with bands and rollers and things that I don't understand. Uh, that's why we have strength coaches. But... Uh, I think uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape. Brady, is there anything about Western that scares you? Yeah, they, offensively, I think, uh, you know, the quarterback, I think, is a uh, – I'd like to see who's a better quarterback in the Midwest than, than that kid. I mean, I think Alex, uh, uh, he throws the ball well. He manages the offense well. He's got great timing. He's got a quick release. He's tough. Uh, he's a durable guy because you see him on tape last year uh, getting hit sometimes and he gets right back up and he goes to work and doesn't seem to phase him. I think they're talented at the wide receiver position. Uh, I think, you know, their O-line, they've had to revamp a little bit and retool, but I think they're still, you know, and, and uh, Bill's always had, you know, good offensive lines, you know. And then they've got their whole defensive line back from a year ago. So you've got a lot of experienced kids. You've got some very athletic kids. And, you know, the linebacker, uh, Sajak, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Uh, um, you know, he's a guy that uh, is the bell cow. I mean, you can see that on tape. I mean, he's the guy who makes a lot of tackles. He's tough. He blitzes well. In the secondary, you know, um, they're pretty stout. So... It all bothers me, you know, probably not as much as us bothers me to making sure we've got to worry about ourselves more than any opponent and making sure that um, we're preparing the way uh, that we need to uh, to win. What's your most memorable opening game experience in your career? Uh, you know what, probably the Virginia game. You know, as an assistant here and the way that thing uh, finished. And, um, you know, with Mercury's catch in the end zone, and it was my first game at Michigan. I mean, that was that was a pretty wild game. Pretty good comeback. Mm-hmm. And they had, a good they had a good football team. You look at all those guys from that team who went and played in the NFL, they had a pretty good football team. How do you uh, sleep at night in general, and does that change as game day approaches? Uh, you know, this week – or. I'm not a big sleeper anyway, but this week is always uh, um, – game week's always different. You know, Larry, you, I grind my teeth, so I don't sleep very well. It's not good for your teeth, I've been told, but – or your jaw. Uh, I can't find it. I think I swallowed it. You're supposed to. How about the You started a game today, Shaw with – yeah, and I think that's fluid, though. I think it really is. Uh, you know, there's uh, – I think between uh, Fitz and Shaw and, and uh, uh, Vince, you know, I think they all have done some good things. They all have done some good things. But, you know, if uh, you would tell me right now, I'd say Mike would probably start the game. First play, power play? Most likely. Sean. I know Al, so I, I – most likely. Sean. Fitz are two different backs. So is one of them skill set, their, their build, more tailor-made for what you want to do? Uh, you know, they, they are and they aren't two different backs. I mean, they're, they're physical stature. They're, they're different. But they both have a, a good burst, good balance. Um, I think they have good vision, which you need to have as a back. Um, I, th I think they both run hard, you know. Um, I think the, 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 when you start looking at the offense as a whole, 
you know, you start looking at the protection, who's going to face up a linebacker, you know, in the A-gap. And, and they both have shown they're, they're not afraid to do that. So, you know, I think there's some subtle differences. Obviously, the physical uh, makeup, you know, Michael's taller and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I think, again, I, it, it's such a close competition, it's hard to say who's who. A lot of times you learn something, you know, by coaching a guy, seeing him every day like that, that you didn't know, right. just watching on tape. How about Denard? Anything with him that you've learned about him? That I, I'm him? really pleased with his growth, you know, uh, and his command of the offense and his maturity as a quarterback, you know, and I probably am a little more uh, anal about the maturity of your quarterback and how he handles the offense, how he handles his teammates, how he – uh, leads and manages a game or manages our scrimmages and that's what I really like about him and he he uh, has an energy to him that you love to have you know and he's got a great competitive demeanor Did you see moments watching Denard in the spring kind of like the wow you know that maybe you, he did something you didn't even think he could do and yeah he almost ran me over in the spring game I think or <laughs> maybe in Devon but I uh, it you know, there's a, he's got a gear to him that's different. Um, and what's different about it is, um, you know, he, he can make a, a, a cut and accelerate out of it um, at top end speed. And then, you know, uh, he's got an opportunity if he gets behind you, uh, you're going to have to be a pretty um, fast guy to catch him. Are there, even during camp, are there moments where you see oh, sure. he surprises you? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. Samples not running you over. But. No, no, he, no, I, I, I learned. I stayed back a little further. But, uh, no, he, uh, yeah, there's been days, you know, Angelique, I, you know, that, you know, we've had a pretty good rush on him or blitz team and we don't contain it well enough. Maybe it was contained well enough for um, a guy of normal abilities, let's put it that way. Uh, but with him, you know, he's got that opportunity to get, get around it and, and make up some yards. How's he doing with his check downs and finding his check downs? He's doing good. He really is. He, he's had a good fall camp. I, I would say, um, you know, I, I there's always things we can do better. But I think uh, he, he forced one ball, I thought, yesterday um, that he should have just, you know, he went to one to two, too late to go to three, went to three instead of just, Taken off. He ranked him up there with Carter among the best in the Midwest. Well, you know what? <laughs> I think he's pretty daggone good quarterback. I li I'm glad he's at Michigan. Let's put it that way. What's Daryl Storm's role going to be in terms of? He's a great scout team wide receiver. He has been awesome, and um, he cherishes cherishes it. And um, I mean, he's he's been really competitive. You know, he gets on our DBs. He, um, you know, he's a guy who's got a lot of experience, so you couldn't have a better, you know, he's been Jordan White kind of for us this week. How would you describe the cupboard that Rich Rodriguez left here? I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you know, these are great kids, and they came here to play and win for Michigan, and that's what uh, we want to give them the greatest opportunity to. Yeah, that's practice cast, you know, and he's fine. He's a pretty tough guy. You know, he jumped in, uh, we do Michigan drill, and that sucker jumped right in, you know, and uh, um, I was real pleased to see that. Last one. With the running back, you said in Chicago that that three-week fall camp went by, you'd be a little more concerned. How concerned are you? That you know, probably not as much as I said then, you know. Um, from the simple standpoint that uh, the competition has really been awesome. And, you know, I think competition is what makes us all better. And I think all these kids have done a great job. So, you know, we'll, we'll see, you know, and we may have to use two guys for a while or a third down guy, you know, but uh, I think it will all clear out. You know, you play each other so much and, you know, <laughs> Defense knows what the line call is, and, you know, there's, it's going to be fun to play somebody else.
Brady playing someone else. Are you, is this a good test for your defense? You talked about the quarterback. You know, I think it is. I, you know, I, it, Bill Cubitt is a smart man. He's always had good offenses. Uh, he uses his personnel well. Uh, I think when you've got a guy uh, like Carter as your quarterback, I think it uh, is an advantage for what he has in his tool chest, if you want to call it that. So I, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, um, th there's some guys up there that haven't played much football. You know, uh, when you look at the the two deep, and so they're going to be gaining some value, value, valuable experience in front of 112,000 or whatever it may be, and that's a whole different show up there. You know, State Street and Main Street, they're two different streets.